When I was really dreaming of Art of the Cowgirl, I thought it was very important that we honor women in the industry and let them be their mentors. What I see is women who are skilled, who are professionals in their fields, people who are so accomplished in their arts of handling horses. They want to pass along the experience. They want to pass along that knowledge. That's how it is in ranting. You pass that tradition along. That's how people learn. We provide opportunities for our recipients to go study with our master artists. They're in their studios, they're in their shops, they're in their horse barn, not only gaining an incredible amount of skills, but also building themselves personally and their businesses. So it really is a unique opportunity that especially sometimes for women in this industry is hard to find. And this is breaking down those barriers and eliminating a lot of those obstacles to get these girls reaching for their next goals. I wanted to help provide an opportunity to learn a trade, to build something with your hands, to keep a Western tradition going. My hope for the future is that not only that we can provide fellowships for people to learn a trade, but then we can also help people start up their business and be able to go anywhere in the world and do it. In 2019, master saddlemaker Nancy Martini mentored fellowship recipient Tony K. Toll to pass along centuries-old tools of the trade. For me, it's been more successful to follow a certain series of steps, like baking a cake, get your ingredients gathered up and read the recipe and see in your mind what you're going to build. You are a professional when you can fix your mistakes so even you can't find them. It's been one of the greatest experiences I've ever done. Like it's meant pretty much everything. Like it's been able to open the doors. People hear about the Art of Cowgirl and it's kind of brought in like recognition to like there is another artist out there. It's kind of, it's a good feeling. Originally passionate about leather working, Teresa Black discovered rawhide braiding and horsehair hitching in 2000. She's been braiding ever since. This is where your hair is going to go. You're going to put it right here. Okay, right underneath. You're going to be rolling and hitching and hitching and hitching, and you're going to be hitching on this string right here, and that's going to be staying on there. Your hair is going to be tied on this Onto string. the string, okay. Hitching's totally new to me, so just to even be able to hitch something small and just continue to improve there. It seems like there's few hitchers in the world and few raw hiders, though it seems like there's more and more cropping up all the time, but um, I hate the thought of knowledge being lost, so any way that I can help contribute to keeping things going is important to me. Kinsey Artfitch, the 2019 Fine Art Fellowship recipient, learned a great deal throughout her journey about balancing art and motherhood. You know, we're, we're all just, we're all in the same boat. Um, I would have to say that the balance <laughs> is definitely difficult, but also being a mother has made me a better artist. And being an artist and being able to pursue those goals has also helped make me a better mother and wife. And so I think um, not separating and negating one over the other, but just as a whole, they all work together to make me who I believe God has intended me to be. Two master silversmiths, John Mincer and Amy Raymond, share their experiences through Art of the Cowgirl, ensuring this great tradition continues. I believe art comes from within and it is a part of who you are as a person. The art of the cowgirl is about art and I think that the biggest part is the pencil and the paper. If you sit down and put your heart into the drawing end of it and try to create from within and put it on paper, then you can go the next step. But there has to be a foundation. In my profession and what I do, I feel like you have a piece of silver and you put your heart and soul in, and it's a feeling you get when you make something. And it gives you goosebumps and it's kind of cool and fun, you know? And then you hit this place in your career where 
everything's looking the same and everything feels the same and you're not getting that exciting feeling. I think when you collaborate or you work with someone else or you learn from someone else, it allows you to climb that next ladder. It allows you to get to that next plateau and then be able to climb again. What we're looking for in a fellowship recipient is someone who's a person that will bring it full circle to give back again to the next generation of fellowship recipients, someone that just values what the spirit of the fellowship program is all about. People ask me what the cowgirl spirit is, and to me, it's a woman who takes risks, believes in herself, and just does things because she's passionate about them. Art of the Cowgirl isn't just for women from the West. It's for women with the cowgirl spirit.